people living in third world countries, or to something that is a part of your everyday life that people in first world countries would not understand and cope with. Egypt here. Crossing the street is some kind of sick sport. Realizing that my money and any more I could make is worth Vivix this now. Welcome to Lebanon. Gated villages with security guards or houses inside are gated as well with high fences and barbs. This is common even in lower class communities. Our malls have security checks. When you enter, it's not effective. Seen as a joke, low 99% of establishments have security checks when you enter. Train stations have airport like security checks. Not really, but attempted concept. Again, not effective. Just nuisance. Airport immigration. Our own citizens need to pass through our own human attended immigration when departing from our country. We have a chance of being not allowed to visit even if we're legally allowed to do so. No crimes committed. Not like fleeing. The rationale is that when the immigration officer felt that we're going to look for work abroad, even if it is legal to do so in the destination country, if the immigration officer felt that the woman would be meeting her boyfriend abroad, if the immigration officer felt that the person looks like a human trafficking candidate, if we secured a permit and visa to work abroad, meaning we are legally allowed to work in a certain country, we will need to obtain a different clearance to exit to work abroad from our country, which is another level of tedious red tape. Sometimes this really puts off foreign employers, so we end up losing our offer anyway. Thanks to my country. Edit is this is the Philippines. Stray dogs. Stray dogs, which some of them are hostile, are everywhere. It's not possible to roam in the streets around sunrise when they walk in groups or during night without risking yourself being attacked by dogs. I move to Europe now, but I am still unreasonably nervous around leash dogs, the people walking. In Argentina, the price of everything raises almost every day. Four mega internet speed is like the fastest internet connection in Venezuela. I walk with myself and hidden in my pants because it's extremely common for you to get robbed. I've been through a violent robbery at a dinning, and very few people I know haven't been through similar experiences, multiple times even. Having to stand for hours in bread lines. Then for hours at the patrol lines, then for hours at the cooking gas lines, then coming back home to find that they shut off the electricity because there's too much load. Armed security people. Go to the bank. Two guys holding R15 at the entrance. The beer. Guy with a shotgun. Whenever there's money involved, there will be guys holding big guns. I've been pointed twice while walking on the wrong side of the street. Having a shit ton of deterrence mechanisms around your house. Burglar bars on all the windows. Trellis doors on your front door. And then probably one in the bedroom hallway. Keeping your door locked. If you don't have a fence, you're just asking people to break in and murder you. South Africa. 